I'm a high school dropout. I graduated early and with honors. Both of those statements are true. When planting a tree, it's impossible to predict exactly where each branch will grow. But looking back on a full-grown tree, it's easy to trace each branch back to the trunk and to its roots. It was the day before the first day of high school, a day when people reinvent themselves. I shaved my head. People noticed. New style? People noticed. New swagger? Girls? Uh, people noticed. But not like Mendonca. In only 10th grade, for the second time I think, he was, to a misguided ruffian, an icon. He was older, from Hawaii, had a gleaming smile and tons of friends. He did handstand push-ups just for fun and when he popped his shirt off, all the girls noticed. We had a similar walk home from the bus stop. Our moms were friends and he always took time to talk to this stocky little prematurely balding underclassman. I don't know if I looked up to him or envied him, but when he spoke, I listened. Then, one day, I got the speech. You want the money? You want the girls? Sell this. We'd spend our afternoons making pickups spreading out the bricks and bricks on the glass patio table to pick out the cucarachas and repackage. At 160 on the elbow and a below market price on a retail portion of a quad for about a dub, <clears throat> I was working with a margin of about 700% and people like this a whole lot more than hotcakes. Skipping the first couple of periods one day, we concluded our business at a nearby retirement community. Blazed a couple, played a game or two with shuffleboard, and headed back to the campus. The maintenance man makes a call on his radio in the distance. Moments later, the school cop comes around the corner. Walk in front of me, keep your hands out of your pockets. Donk was holding all the weight, and he did some time. I got expelled. They didn't let us keep any of it either. <laughs> I was sent to a disciplinary school a place for the 50 to 60 most delinquent students in the county. White tee tucked into jeans, white shoes, no bags allowed, routine searches. We learned a lot in that school, but most of it was over games of billiards in the cinder block room where we spent most of our time. The next year, I was eligible for teleschool. That's where you get your books and study materials and learn from home with daily calls with an absent-minded instructor and random check-ins to make sure you weren't doing what you got enrolled in this program in the first place for. I learned that outside of the slow pace of public academic curriculum, I thrived. I could complete a course meant to take a semester in about three days. I casually knocked out the whole year in a few weeks. Then, all I had to do was forward my dedicated teleschool line to my friends or to my girlfriend's house, and I was a free man. I could go about my business. Terrible story, right? What a waste of an education for such a bright young man in the gifted program and all honors classes and with such a promising future, isn't it? Nope. Not at all. Immediately after being reinstated to high school, I learned that just like I could edit report cards for 50 bucks a pop, 100 if you had a popped collar on your Tommy shirt, just like I could trace an old disciplinary referral onto a new one, drop it into the teacher's box to avoid punishment, I could, less than malevolently, enroll myself in self-paced courses like night school and summer school without actually having to fail a class first. I completed my recommended courses and had the credits to graduate over a year early. In order to graduate, though, I had to officially unenroll from my high school, drop out. And after scoring remarkably well on the SAT equivalent, I graduated with honors, wore the gold tassel around my neck and everything. What do I do now? Whatever the fuck I want. Most days, I live a dream life. I work for myself doing what I love. I work on my own schedule, I market my own products and services and help others do the same. I operate at an efficiency level far greater than my peers in the field and most days, 
I have all my office calls forwarded to me remotely, wherever I happen to be that day. These are the skills I learned through my tumultuously misguided youth, and they have served me well. Then, my parents were devastated. I was scared. My teachers were disappointed. The principal was grinning to see me gone, but I used what I learned to grow. I branched out. 